Frederick McConnell was appointed director of the Cleveland Playhouse in 1921, bringing with him two extraordinary assistants, actor-director K. Elmo Lowe and backstage manager Max Eisenstadt. These three individuals became known as the Triumvirate, and one of their first actions was to form a resident company. As Chloe Oldenburg puts it in her book, Leaps of Faith, with a passion for fine theater, McConnell set about building a sound repertory system, the essence of which would initially be a company of amateur actors directed by a professional director with a permanent audience. From these beginnings, the resident company soon became the backbone of CPH and its primary mode of production for 67 years. Soon after its formation as an amateur ensemble, the resident company professionalized and expanded to include directors and designers alongside a growing core of actors. Over time, many long-standing staff members throughout the organization came to be considered members of the resident company, working together to create exceptional theater and education programs for the people of Northeast Ohio. Many members of the resident company hailed from Cleveland, while others came from all across the country to join what became one of the most preeminent ensembles in the United States. And as part of the terms of a 1958 Ford Foundation grant, resident company actors became members of Actors' Equity Association. Thousands of theater professionals came to call CPH their home as members of the resident company, including CPH Hall of Fame members Margaret Hamilton, Maeve McGuire, David O. Frazier, Joe Gary, Dom DeLuise, Elijah Ford, Richard Gould, Evie McElroy, June Squibb, Jack Weston, Kirk Willis, Esther Mullen, Ruth Nelson, Paul Rogers, Richard Halverson, Jack Lee, Hildegard Stashauer, Dorothy Paxton, and of course, Richard Oberlin.